the numbers x1 through xk occur with frequencies f1 through fk, where if you add up all the f's, you get the total frequency. Find the geometric mean g and log g. Let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. So first, as a refresher, let's put this in parentheses, if we have, say, n numbers, x1 through xn, the geometric mean of these numbers is defined to be the nth root of the product of these numbers. So x1 times x2 times dot 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 xn. So this is the general formula. So we're going to use this to come up with the answer to this problem. So here, in this particular problem, g is going to be, so n here is capital N, so it'll be the nth root of, I'm going to write really, really big here, probably more than I need, but that's good. <laughs> And so now we basically have to multiply all the numbers. However, the numbers appear a certain number of times. For example, x1 appears f1 times. So we have to write x1 times x1 times dot 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 times x1. And it appears f1 times. So there's f1 copies of x1. So this is f1 times. Then times x2 appears f2 times. This would be x2 times x2 times dot 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 times x2. And there's f2 copies of x2. So this appears f2 times times dot 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 times etc. all the way to xk. So we have xk times xk times dot 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 times xk and this appears f sub k times or simply fk times beautiful stuff so this is equal to you write it again big g is the nth root of okay and basically if you have x1 f1 times you just get x1 to the f1 same thing here, we'd get x2 to the f2 times dot 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 times and then xk to the fk. And this would be the formula for the geometric mean. The question also wants us to find an expression for the log. So let's go ahead and do that. We can take the log of both sides, but before we do, realize that this can be expressed as follows. This is really x1 to the f1 times x2 to the f2 times dot 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 times xk to the fk. And this is really to the 1 over capital N, right? Because this is really here to the 1. It's 1 over N, 1 over N, so we can write it that way. Let's take the log of both sides now. So log g is equal to the log of the right-hand side. So x1 to the f1 times x2 to the f2 times dot 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 times xk to the fk. And this here is to the um, 1 over n. Now we can use properties of logs to bring this down and put it in the front. So we have log g. This is called the power rule for logs. So you have 1 over capital N. Then we have log of x1 to the f1 times x2 to the f2 times dot 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 times. And then we have xk to the fk. So xk to the fk, just like that. Now we can use something called the product rule for logs. Remember, if you have the log of AB, that's the log of A, whoops, plus the log of B. 
So same thing here, except we have, you know, k terms here. So we're going to have k terms in our sum. So this is 1 over n, parentheses, log of x1 to the f1, plus log of x2 to the f2, plus dot dot dot, plus log of uh, xk to the fk, just like that. Now we can use the power rule again for logarithms to put all of these frequencies in the front. We can bring them down, put them in the front every time. So this is equal to 1 over n, parentheses, the frequency of xk, so f sub 1, and that's going to be times the log of x1 plus the frequency f2 times the log of x2 plus dot 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 plus the frequency fk times the log of xk. Good stuff. And this can be written as a sum. So this is equal to 1 over n. Then we have a sum. And let's just go ahead and use uh, i, I guess. So i runs from, say, 1 to, um, I guess in this case, it's going to be k. And this will be f sub i times the log of x sub i. And that would be the formula for the log of g. So really, 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 really useful. Um, you could use this to find uh, the geometric mean for group data. Uh, by taking uh, the xi's here to be the class marks, and these could be the f's could be the corresponding frequencies. So you could use this formula to find um, the geometric mean of group data. So really cool, um, nice, nice little problem. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who happens to be working on this. You know, if you happen to be working on this, I think that's pretty cool. This is not something that I think uh, is very, uh, <laughs> is very popular. Uh, but yeah, good luck.